Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. We are making Asian beef short ribs. I got fennel, coriander, and star anise. And this is the fresh thyme. Ginger and garlic, of course. Put it in. And samba. Make it spicy. I ate some uh, tomato paste. And we're going to uh, make the paste. The paste looking good. I think it's done. And I got this uh, beautiful beef short ribs. It's about 1.74 pounds. We're gonna brown the short ribs first and then we're gonna uh, make the sauce. I use medium heat, some olive oil to brown the short ribs. Three minutes on each side. After three minutes on one side, we're gonna give them a quick flip. And this side we're gonna put down for, uh, to another three minutes. Now it's looking good. And you see there's a lot of fat, uh, oil in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna drain it out. After I drain out the fat, I'm just gonna add in my paste that I make. And I get them a quick mix, toss like that. We just want the paste to give them a chance to cook too. Give them a nice flavor. And then, I just turn on my heat a little bit higher to medium high because I can tell I want that sizzle sound. And then next, we're gonna add some vegetable in. I got carrot, celery, and onion. Give them a quick mix. It's gonna be so delicious. And then I'm gonna add my beef stock. Just enough to cover the short rib like this. I got two and a half cup beef stock. If you have veal stock, you can use veal stock, will be good too. And then I'm gonna add some soy sauce. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. Some honey. You want to balance the sweetness. So we have soy sauce and all the beautiful herb. Some honey. And I preheat my oven to 350 or 375. Doesn't matter. It's gonna cook about two and a half hours to three hours until the meat is tender, right? So now we're just gonna give them a quick mix. And then we want the stock bring up to a boil. And then I usually let the, uh, after boil, I let them simmer here for maybe five minutes. And I give the stock a try make sure the flavor is good all right here's my cover i'm going to bring out to a boil and turn to a simmer now it's boiling we're going to turn down to simmer which is like get my uh heat my uh, stove to low which is simmer the reason i want to turn up to a boiling because i want to have a little taste of the flavor oh my goodness yum love it Okay, now we turn down to the simmer, and my uh, pre I preheat my oven to 350. My oven is pretty hot, and I'm gonna let this uh, cover up and bring into my oven. And I'm gonna let them slow cook for two and a half to three minutes. And once in a while, you gotta check into and make sure the meat is tender, everything is looking good. So after two and a half hours cooking in the oven, nicely done. Look at the meat is so tender. And the meat is just like almost fell off from the bone. So I got this colander. And then I just gonna simply easily just drain everything out. And then. And the sauce. I'm gonna use the separator. Next we're gonna make the sauce. I got some shallot and some butter. Medium heat. The 
just let them sweat a little bit. Couple minutes. I'm gonna add some uh, wine. Any red wine will be good. And then let them reduce for like uh, eight to ten minutes. After that, I got my uh, sauce in the separator. You see the top layer, about like half inch. Those are fat. I'm not gonna put it in. Just gonna keep pouring in. Put all my juice in. Now the sauce is bring up to a simmer. I'm just gonna reduce down to like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I don't want the sauce got too thick. If I need to thicken a little bit, I can use the cornstarch uh, agent to uh, thicken the sauce. But it's almost like a demi glaze sauce, <laughs> like a brown sauce in the brown stock. But or you can do another way is um, when I do the butter in the shallot, you can add some uh, flour, all-purpose flour. Get them a nice uh, root and put everything else, it will thick up the sauce pretty fast. But I have a really good sticky rice cooking right now. So I'm gonna wait for like 15 minutes and see what's going on. The sauce being reduced down by one third. Just give them a quick try. Wow, very flavorful. Just a little bit more soy sauce, not much. And I'm just gonna. Uh, Thicken with some cornstarch and I dissolved it in a, like a two tables, no, excuse me, two teaspoon cornstarch with two to three ounce water. Before you thicken the sauce, you want to bring the sauce to a boil and just a little bit at a time. This sauce is so delicious with the rice. Maybe a little more. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna get some black pepper. It's good. Then I just bring back your uh, short ribs and get them a quick mix with the sauce. Look at that. Here's your Asian short ribs family style. You can garnish any way you like it. So beautiful. So yummy. I hope you liked the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. Bye.